Hi guys, uh, so today we're going to talk about the body class filter hook. Okay. So if you go to Codex and you search for the body class, okay, you would find that uh, you know uh, it filters the list of the CSS body classes for the current post or page. Okay, so it's basically uh, you know modifies the the class name so if you want to add some class name to the body tag you can do that using this filter so I'll explain to you how that work so this is my index.php page of my theme I've got WP head WP footer being called over here and this is my body tag HTML tag and then I'm calling this body class function so what this function does basically is this goes ahead and displayed the all the classes uh, that we are that are attached to this body tag so if we do the page source for this go down and see look for body here it is you can see that that function is basically you know echoing out the classes so it's basically a list of separate classes home blog, logged in, admin bar, no customized support, depending on which page the user is, uh, this class would differ. Okay, so if we were on a specific page, uh, you know, this class might differ because currently we are on a home page, so we've got home class, and then it's saying that the user is logged in, this class means that, okay, no customized support and things like that. So if you want to change the class name, if you want to add some class, uh, you know, classes to this particular uh, you know uh, body tag we can do that by using the uh, body class hook uh, using the apply filter okay so if you go ahead and uh, you know check the definition of this class into core we can see that is defined into post template so if you check over here what this is doing is this is echoing the class and that's exactly what's happening you know this is going ahead and echoing the um, class the list of classes Okay, and then using the join function, and then it's calling another function get body class. Let's see what that does. So this is defined into post template dot php get uh, body class. It's passing the class, which is generally empty uh, by default, and it's all going on over here. So basically, it's adding different classes uh, to this uh, array. Okay. Uh, so we've got, it's defining an empty array classes and then it's adding different classes depending on what page the user is so it's saying that if it's a front page uh, go ahead and add home to the classes of array variable if it's a archive page add archive date search attachment and so on so because if you check the user was on home page uh, on the that's why the home is uh, the front page that's why the home is added over here uh, in the class uh, attribute okay so similarly that's what is going on over here and checking is singular and things like that I'm not going to get into it because we're discussing the filter if you scroll down towards the bottom you can see that um, you've got the apply filter body class hook definition over here so this is basically accepting three parameters so I'll just show you codex for that <coughs> So it takes three parameters, which is body class, uh, which is the hook name, and then the classes, which is an array of body classes, and then class, so an array of additional classes that needs to be added to the body. Okay, so that's what is over here, and um, it's going ahead and returning the the classes after it's applied. So it's this is going to return. Whatever changes we make, you, uh, you know, by attaching the uh, our custom function to the body class hook, whatever is returned in this array is being returned over here, okay, uh, into our function, and that's what is going to be, you know, echoed out using the body class function. Okay, so let's come back into our functions.php, and let's go ahead and add this set of code. Okay, so we're going ahead and adding a filter. Uh, to our, for a custom function using the body class hook and this function accepts this parameter which is the classes uh, classes basically the array as you can see this this one 
so we're not using this we're just using this classes okay and um, we are checking that if the user is uh, post type is post you know you can change this to page or we can change this to in case if we're using any custom post type like John Ray or probably movies or anything you know if we have any custom but in this case let's say we're using post so get post type basically returns the what type of post uh, is being displayed so in our case it's a post uh, so we we'll use post and then it's using this array and we are adding custom class to this existing array okay so as you can see this classes classes was an empty array and we are adding different uh, you know class names depending on which page the user is eventually we are reaching uh, here to the apply filter so this classes already has different set of names uh, like these and it already has all of these so all we want to do is add another one to it so we are doing that by our add filter uh, body class hook and we are saying that go ahead and add custom class name also to the existing uh, classes array which we have available uh, over here okay so we're adding the custom class and then we're returning this class of array so when it is returned uh, it's going to return an array which already had all the classes that were defined which are these class names and then it's also going to have the custom class that we have just added okay and that's what is being returned over here and this array will now be available uh, with the apply filter over here and that is what, what will be returned uh, you know by this function the get body class and as you can as you already know we have discussed now that the body class um, you know uh, calls this and now this array will be available and that's what will be echoed out over here okay so let's go ahead and refresh the page once we have got our add filter uh, so just notice over here what's happening so you can see that the custom class that we had added to the array is now available okay cool so that's what the job of the add filter is the add filter allows us to you know uh, attach our custom function to uh, the hook that's defined and then make changes to the make changes or modify the data that's available so the data that was available to us was this under this classes variable which was in array containing all the uh, classes and all we did was just appended uh, to one more class to it class name to it and then echoed it out automatically it's going to echo it out because that's what's happening over here that I explained okay cool so if you have any questions please leave the comment and I'll be happy to answer them thank you very much